Jack Royal's 23rd birthday has been a bittersweet one. It marks the end of a five-year drug trial for the genetic condition he suffers from, called tubular sclerosis, medication which he says has given him his life back, but which the NHS won't fund. Uh, within a year of um, being accepted onto the trial, we, we noticed that my facial rash disappeared and um, tumours in my nails um, and ki kidney, liver, um, eyes and brain started to shrink. And um, overall, it made a huge improvement to the, uh, the way I, I lived. Tubular sclerosis has dominated Jack's life and his family's for the past 20 years as they pushed to spread word of the rare condition. He's had three major brain operations and suffers from epilepsy and autism. His tumours have shrunk by up to 90% since being on the drug Everolimus, but he's also returned to college to take the exams he couldn't the first time around. It was like a miracle, really, because within three months we could see a total change in Jack. He was, rather than just wanting to sit in his room and be on his own and not socialise, he was coming alive and wanting to mix and a lot happier. NHS England says Jack may be able to apply for extra funding and said in a statement, no new treatments are made routinely available on the NHS without having been approved by the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence or forming part of an NHS England clinical commissioning policy. It added that NHS England was considering forming such a policy and said in the interim, the individual funding request route remains open. After five years of progress, the delay has left Jack and Ali facing an uncertain future. To see the, um, the positive side of life and uh, to see the positive changes of it, uh, I think it's been wonderful. And um, to see that uh, they could go backwards, I think that's awful. The tumours that have shrunk will grow back and um, therefore the seizures will start again, which are life-threatening and the kidney tumours will grow to a point where he'll need to be on dialysis and if the brain tumour continued to grow and they couldn't operate, which is what they couldn't before, then that would cause him to die. So the drug is keeping him alive. Jack's drugs have been licensed by the NHS and would cost around £36,000 a year. Having needed medical attention all his life, he and his family say they're a cheaper option in the long run and one which gives him the best chance of a healthy life. Mark Shields, Mustard TV, Thorpe and Andrew.